What's up, everybody? Cloud9 Man here. Thank you for joining me. I'm going to try my best to explain to you how to add a musician into your current measures. The first thing we'll do is we'll extend our uh, let's we'll extend our measures let's go 30 measures 32 whatever right here is fine right click and punch out after current measure that puts our little red icon there that'll give us 32 measures to work with here go back to measure one I'm going to right click and I'm going to load a band style and I'm just gonna I'll choose a blues upbeat organ groove um, we'll just start with this and this is what we get when we hit compose Okay, if you wanted to change an instrument sound, like say you wanted the uh, the rock organ to be something else, you could change that, but we're not going to do that. We're going to add a new or another musician. I'm going to right click on the first measure with our band style right here with our blues band style. I'm going to go to styles after I right click I go to styles and I'm gonna go to load musician style I load that up and it gives you uh, a couple of uh, folders here you've got your bass players your drum beat drum fills individual drums melody players and rhythm players so we're gonna take a, uh, a rhythm player first I'll click that folder and it opens up all these different styles of rhythm players. So we're going to take uh, an acoustic grand piano, slow intro, and I'm just going to I'm going to put this in there. It's going to play an intro, but I just want to do that. Well, we'll do a groove. Let's do groove. Instead of intro, let's do a um a ballad slow piano it's got the Rhodes piano we'll just do that so I added a new instrument here electric piano Rhodes now it's gonna play when I compose this it'll it'll play in the style of this band this band style right here but it should sound different from all the other instruments so I'm gonna hit compose and let's see So that's what that instrument added. It's not a whole lot. You can come over here and you can see that it doesn't have very many uh, events, uh, which I'm assuming is like sounds or notes. Now, there is a way to do all that. You can go into edit the style and make it play more notes, but I'm not going to do that right now. Right now, the next thing we're going to do, we're going to go back to our band style. We're going to add another uh, instrument. I'm going to right click. I'm going to go to styles, and then I'm going to go over and I'm going to load musician style. I right click that we're in rhythms I'm going to go to a melody folder this time the melody folder and I'm gonna go down and get uh, let's see here we want all right let's do violin I'm going to show you how to add another instrument which now we have a violin that's going to play in the blues style band style that we have selected here 
So I'm going to go to Compose and we'll see how this adds to it. Looks like it got uh, 80 events on the score over here. So let's let's see how those sound by themselves. Now let's turn all the instruments back on together. So you can see it's added both of those instruments in. So now let's let's add one more. Let's go right click once again, go to styles, go to load musician styles. And this time we go to the musicians uh, uh, folder and let's pick another melody. This time, let's click on the boogie melody, groove, uh, grand piano. So I added a grand piano groove, and let's see what this does to it now. I'm going to compose all of it. Now, it looks like it added quite a bit on this, so let's go over here and let's solo the instruments and let's see what they added. The boogie grand piano sounds pretty good. I like that. Um, Let's take them all off now and listen. Now the, the organs may sound a little off, but uh, let's take a listen now. So they're all playing their own instrument style but they're keeping beat with this band style here and playing with this band style. Now, if you wanted to change the band style, you would come down here and load a different band style. Those instruments won't be in it. Or say you wanted to take those instruments out. So what you would do is you would go to the where you want them to be out and you would load the same band style or another one, which, you know, that's up to you on how you want to do that. But you go back to, uh, let's see here, I made a mistake. We go to load band style. And I'm going to upload the same one, groove, hold organ. All right. And now those instruments that I added over here for this band style should not be in this band style. So let's see when I hit compose. So now those instruments aren't in it after the first two measures on measure three. They're not there no more. Up here, you can double click and you can't change that. So you can't just add them in when you want to. You would have to have this band style and use it each time you wanted those instruments to play. So you could copy this uh, band style right here or whatever and like move it to wherever you want those instruments to come in. So let's take a look, listen one more time. This is all the instruments that we added with the band style. And then on measure three, they, will go, they won't play anymore. So you can see that it's not the same after it gets to the third measure. Okay, so say you wanted them to stop on this measure 
and start back on this measure. So what we would have to do, if I'm not mistaken, let's see here. We could um, copy this measure. Let's see. I'm going to try this. Edit. After I highlighted that, I went to edit, and I'm going to go to copy this one measure. And it tells you you're going from 1.1 to 1.4, which is the fourth beat, one whole measure. That's all we're copying. So we copy that. And I'm going to go here. I'm going to write, no, I'm going to go back to edit after I click into bar 5, which is where we want it. I'm going to go back to edit, and I'm going to click Paste Song Data. When I click that, another box comes up, and it says you want it for level from 5 to 5.4, which would be the four measures, so you click OK. There it is. Now, if I'm not mistaken, these should be composed. So the new instruments that we put in are on Compose. I'm going to hit Compose, and let's see if it works out. So that's how you get instruments to come in and out. Let's say we didn't want uh, the rock organs on the first part of it, but we do the second part. I would come up here on this bar or measure and mute the organs. And now let's bring it back to the start and let's listen to it now. So that, that takes out the organ and it leaves in the instruments that we put in, the acoustic grand piano, the electric panel, violin, and acoustic grand piano. We put these, I think it was the last three. So that's the instruments we added to this blues measure when we started. So we've added three instruments. We added a, a rhythm um, and two melodies. And let's go watch this. Watch these last three right here. And you can see the uh, parts they put in. We took out the organ. I'm going to take out the piano that it added. We'll leave the bass and the drums and the instruments that we added. So that's how you add instruments into a band style that you want to play. Now, there is a way that you can change these instrument sounds. Like, say you wanted to turn the, uh, the piano. Instead of it being piano, you can double-click on this right here on the, pa the patch. Acoustic Grand Piano. We're going to change it to... Um, Let's make it something noticeable, like uh, instead of the uh, piano, now it's going to play uh, the trumpet. That should be different, right? Instead of a piano sound, the grand piano now will sound like a trumpet. So let's let's see. <laughs> goes out and it'll play continuously as long as this measure is still the same um, band style so you can you can use this band style which has none of those instruments in it listen to this from this point But on measure 5 is the one that we have up here. So that means these instruments will come back in. I hope this video is helpful. I'm trying to help one of the subscribers. Um, that's how I add musicians if I want more musicians in. 
so you can go back and and look at what we was doing I right click here I go to styles load musician style and then choose the style that you want from there and then you can change that sound from trumpet you can change it to uh, let's let's change it again you double click on the trumpet over here on patch under patch let's change it to uh, back to the piano and this is the way it should sound okay let's change it again to um, let's say the flute then it will sound this way you can change you can also change it while it's playing let's do that So you can change any of these instruments right here by double clicking on the under the patch. For instance, the, our electric bass up here at the top, you click on that, you can change that to anything you want. It'll still play the bass notes. It'll still play the, the piano notes, but it'll sound like the banjo or violin, whatever instrument you double click there and load your instrument. So I'm going to cut it right here. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget, hit the like and subscribe button. I'm the Cloud9 Man, and I'll see you guys in the next one.